guys, and welcome to Wednesday's Take and Make Crafts for Kids. My name's Allie, and today we're going to be making some sensory squishes, or stress balls. These are really great to use when we're feeling big, strong emotions. Sometimes we get really angry, or we can get kind of sad, or we can have really big emotions that make us feel really strong feelings. And this stress ball is a really good way to get those feelings and to squish them all up. So let's get started and see what we have in our sense in our kits today and make our sensory squishes. In your take and make kit, you should have an instruction sheet, a template for a funnel, some rice, and your balloon. Let's get started. Your first step is to blow up your balloon, and this will help stretch it out to get some to be able to get some rice into here. <laughs> So I just blow it up a little bit and then slowly let the air out. Kind of makes a funny noise when you let the air out. All right, next step, we're going to cut out our funnel template. So carefully cut this out or have an adult help you cut this out. and then we're going to roll it together. And we'll just use a piece of tape to hold it together. There we go. Next, you want to fit your balloon over the funnel. So kind of stretch it over the funnel. There we go. And open it back up. Perfect. And now you want to start filling your balloon with rice. So I'm going to hold my balloon and my funnel together and I'm going to start pouring the rice in nice and slow. Oops, it's okay if a little bit spills. Now if the rice isn't going through, you can kind of shake your balloon and funnel a little bit. Kind of squeeze it a little bit, that'll help it go through. And just keep shaking. And that rice will go right in. Oops. You kind of can stick your finger in there and swirl it around too. That'll help the rice go in. Another way you can do this that might be a little bit faster is, hold on just a second, let me grab something that'll help us. You can use a funnel from your kitchen. So if you have a funnel from your kitchen, you can wrap the balloon around it and just pour the rice in. You might not need all of the rice in there. <laughs> Sometimes we make a mess and that's okay. Now I have my rice in my balloon and I'm going to push all of the rice down into the balloon and then I'm going to tie a knot. And now I have my sensory squish, my stress ball. You can squeeze it as hard as you want, you can pinch it, you can pull it, but don't pull too hard because you don't want the balloon to break. But it's kind of fun to be able to squish when you're feeling big, strong emotions. There we go. All right guys, thanks for joining me today as we made our sensory squishes. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts and stories, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much. 
Bye, friends.